felt everything around me move. Hi everyone, welcome to Feel of the Week number 12 for hair, makeup, and outfit tutorial. Today we're going to be working on a bun, and the makeup is going to have shades of um, purple. So it's going to be like a simple makeup, but very pretty. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to start working on my hair, and I'm going to use this hair serum to help the hair stay in place. I'm going to use it only a little bit. And I'm going to apply it in the front. And right here in the back. Got nervous when you looked my way. Then I'm gonna grab a brush. But you knew all the words to say. Then you laugh, slowly move right in. Now that I have my hair as high as I can put it, I'm gonna tie it with this um, hair ponytail holders. Um, I have this regular black one and this other three are in um, white pearls. So I'm going to grab them all and on the third time you're going to go like this halfway and then the other half you're going to grab it and you're going to try to create a um, bow tie this way. I'm going to use um, a bobby pin to pin it in the back. And then I'm going to grab it this way and then I'm going to insert a bobby pin in the middle this way. I'm going to use hairspray to fix this part right here. Those are my bands sticking out. And then right here in the front and in the back to make the hair stay in place. All this time, For the eye makeup, I'm going to use um, a couple of different shades. I have uh, this one. It's a Maybelline Duo called Lasting Lilac. It has like a light uh, purple here and a dark one, a darker one on the side. And I'm also going to work with two Sephora's um, eyeshadows. I have this one, which is called Moonbeam from the Prisma Chrome line. And also this one is kind of like a, a sapphire blue. It's called Sapphire Shine, but I'm going to blend it in with the purple. So the first thing that I'm going to do is apply the light purple. I'm going to apply that purple all over my eye. Then I'm going to apply the dark purple only on the side.
going to apply a little bit of the light purple over the dark one just to blend it in. Then I'm going to use the um, sapphire color and I'm going to apply a little bit on the crease right here. to the dark purple and blend it in with the sapphire color. Then I'm going to use the moonbeam color as a um, highlighter and I'm just going to grab a little bit and I'm going to apply it all around the eye. a little thicker on the top because I want to apply black eyeliner so I want to make sure that you can see the highlighter on the top as well. Now apply the black eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, only on the top. Notice how I extended the line all the way over here. I just want you to notice that and pay attention to that um, because there's an extra step um, at the end. So here, I'm going to extend the line to a little bit. This um, package is like a um, face jewelry. It's from Bindis of India. And I'm going to use um, rhinestones from here to just two to apply one on each eye. I'm going to grab one and I'm going to put it right here. That's why I extended the eyeliner so far away from the eye. And then I'm going to apply the rhinestone right at the end. Now I'm going to proceed um, to apply the mascara. I'm using the two-step Maybelline. First the white part. And today I am incorporating a new mascara that I got myself at Sephora. It's uh, one of the um, Kat Von D mascaras. 
It's this one right here. It's called Puro Amor. And I'm going to apply it on top of the white part that I used from Maybelline. That I lay my eyes on you. Felt everything around me move. Got nervous when you looked my way. But you knew all the words. And the third one that I'm going to use is the, the Fall Thief. Then you laugh, move right in. All this time, oh my love, where you been? Now let's apply the blush. Me, amore, don't you know? My love, I want you so. I'm going to use a nude lipstick, but first I'm going to apply a little bit of foundation over my lips. And I'm going to use these two lipsticks that I had previously used on my videos. This one is from Revlon, it's called Nude Attitude. And this one is from um, Victoria's Secret, and it's called Whisper. First, I'm going to apply the Revlon one. And last, the Whisper color. Now the last thing will be the compact powder. Now that the makeup and the hair are done, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the second part of the video, showing you the outfit and the whole look put in together. You are watching now part two of the video where you get to see the whole look put in together. And today, what I am wearing, I will describe it as a very unique and unconventional look with hints of menswear, clothes, but very feminine at the same time. I am wearing a black and white tuxedo blouse from Bibi with a lace design in the front. I have on black pants from Brown Page a black belt from Joyce Leslie, black pumps from BB as well, and if you notice, I am wearing purple lace socks, and I wanted to do that to add color to the whole look, being that it's all black and white, and also keep it very feminine because of the lace. The accessories that I am wearing are from Mom Brief Jewelry, except for this set of pearls from Mandy, but this beautiful bracelet and purple and silver is from Mom Reeves. It's the same one that I had on for the Christmas look. The earrings are very simple and small. They go perfect with the bun. And the rings and silver also from Mom Reeves. The nail polish that I am wearing is a neutral taupe color. And I picked this color because I wanted to maintain the look very simple and classy. If you have any questions, don't forget to go into my site, LaxMeInTrends.com, and I'll see you next week with the upcoming video of Steel of the Week. This fire even more No telling where we